Hi. I had a student that had some problems with what's called simplifying the radical, the simple process to simplify the radical. Um, there are some rules that you have to know. Uh, square root of a plus b does not equal square root of a plus the square root of b. Uh, here's an example. If I go 9 plus 16, it's the square root of 25 on the inside here. Square root of 25, right? Which is equal to 5. A square root of 9 plus the square root of 16, that would be 3 plus uh, 4. Uh, obviously, that does not equal um, 5. So, simplifying radical says if there's two terms, terms are separation by adding or subtracting. That means that you cannot separate them into partial radicals. Single radical, partial radicals are not allowed when you add. But square root of a times b does equal square root of a times the square root of b. Here's an example, 9 and 4. 9 times 4 is 36. Square root of 36 is equal to square root of 36 is equal to 6, right? Square root of 9 times the square root of 4, which is equal to square root of 9 is 3, square root of 4 is 2, 3 times 2 is obviously check, 6 is checked out. So you can multiply, separate them into partial radicals, but you, uh, you cannot uh, separate them when they're adding or subtracting, okay? So that's the rule. Uh, some laws of math. So let's take the square root of, let's see, uh, 18. I've got to find the perfect square that's a, a factor of 18. So that would be like 9 times 2. So that becomes, oh, by the way, when we do the square root of 18, uh, what two whole numbers is it between? Is it between 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 4 and 5, 5 and 6, etc.? Well, I know that uh, 4 squared is 16, so it's going to be between 4 and square root of um, Four and then uh, it will be five right there because five squared is 25. So make sure you understand this concept a little bit. Something times itself will equal 18. If it's four squared, which is 16, a little bit smaller, five squared, a little bit bigger. So let's think about this a little bit. Hmm. You say, well, it's closer to four because four squared is 16, five squared is 25. So it's probably going to be 4.2-ish, approximately. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to use my calculator here. Uh, this is the standard calculator for the uh, SAT and most of your high schools. The TI-84 Silver Edition. I would definitely get one uh, if you're in the high school. Uh, excuse me. Uh, the square root of um, 18 and 4.24. Uh, pretty close, 4.2. Uh, I actually get to made it without actually, this is my first time actually doing this. Uh, so this is the same thing as getting back to the problem, square root of 9 times the square root of 2. Well, we know what the square root of 9 is. Uh, square root of 9 is 3 times the square root of 2, and that's called simplifying the radical. Well, square root of 18 or 3 square root of 2, let's take a look. We did the square root of 18 here, which turns out to be a little bit better right here. Uh, turns out to be 4.24. If I go 3 times the square root, remember, there's nothing there that means uh, the default is to multiply. I get exactly the same answer. So why is this called simplifying the radical? Well, what if I do something like this now? Square root of 18 divided by 3. What is that equal to then? Well, that's going to be 4.24. Divided by 3, I'm going to get kind of some kind of number, right? And I'm going to say it's approximately 1.414213562 dot dot dot. Okay. Square root of 18. Hmm, there it is. Square root. I'm going to put it right here so you can see it better. 18. Get out by using the right arrow key. Divided by 3. And 1.414, 1.412, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2. Ah, you say, well, 
how to do that? Well, it's pretty simple. I simplified it to 3 radical 2 divided by 3. The 3 is cancel. And square root of 2, I know that's a very, very special number. Uh, square root of 2 is 1.414 to 1 to the sixth like I said before. So, simplifying the radical actually helps you to do certain problems. You're going to need this for algebra 2. You're going to need it for pre-calculus. You're going to need it for calculus uh, for most of your high school career. So, get it down if you're going to be in sciences. Definitely will help you to simplify certain radical situations. Simplifying the radical. Well, let's try a little bit more difficult one. Square root of 48. Uh, I don't know. The, well, I will tell you this, that I know that 16 times 3 is 48, but most people don't know that. But most people know that 4 is a uh, perfect square as well as 16. So 4 goes into 48 uh, 12 times, so it's 4 times 12. So it's the square root of 4 times the square root of 12. Well, we know that the square root of 4 is 2, square root of 12. We know that the square root of 12, I'm going to bring this up a little bit, is 4 times 3. So this is taking it 2 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Uh, square root of 4 is 2, turns into 2 right there. And so you end up with, uh, let me open this up a little bit. Uh, you end up with 2 times 2, which is 4, times the square root of 3. And there's your answer. Let's try that again on a calculator just to make sure. If I take the square root of uh, 48, there it is, uh, 6.928. If I take uh, 4 root 3, 4 radical 3, sometimes they say 4 root 3, same thing. I should get the exact same answer. Let's see if I do or not. I know that the uh, light's getting in the way a little bit. 6.9 is exactly the same answer. See that right there? Uh, yeah. So, um, work on your simplifying radicals. You're going to be doing a lot um, more different types of simplifying radicals. Good luck on your homework, guys. Thank you. Take care. Bye.